Welcome back, Year 9, Week 4, and today we're looking at Exercise 3H. Exercise 3H is about finding angles using our trigonometric ratios. Good news, we've already learnt how to do the first few things with this, and there's only one really little extra step to do with these. Um, I'm going to take you through it now. Interestingly here, when you look at their terminology, they're talking about when we get, we've so far got to the point that sine theta theta equals the opposite side divided by the hypotenuse, cosine theta equals the adjacent side divided by the hypotenuse, and that the tangent ratio, tan theta, equals the opposite divided by adjacent. What we're looking at today is, rather than just finding the ratio, we won't want to actually know the size of the angle. So to do that, we have to do the inverse function. Now we know some inverse functions, we know Division is the opposite of multiplication, the inverse of multiplication. We know that addition and subtraction are inverse functions. Well, with these trigonometric functions, we have to do the inverse sine function. Now, you'll see that it's written, according to the textbook, as sine with a little power of negative 1 for O divided by H. This is to do with how we do an inverse using indices. So the inverse of multiplying, raising to a power, is to divide by that power. That's where that negative is coming from. We're not going to do that. We're going to use the traditional name for this. This actually, this notation came about because uh, when they wrote, when they made calculators for the first time, there wasn't enough room to write this inverse function, so they had to use some other notation. The actual name of this is arc sine, because what they're saying is, what is the arc length? for the sine ratio, that would give me this angle. That's how they're actually doing it. So these all come from something called the unit circle. You're going to find out more about that next year. But they're talking about the arc length of a circle. So if I had a triangle like this, and I'm talking about here's my opposite side, there's my hypotenuse. What arc length, if that was, if you imagine that triangle was inside a circle, what arc length there would correspond to this Trig ratio, opposite over hypotenuse. So that's why they call it arc sine. Now you don't need to really know any of that yet, just that it's going to be coming up next year. Right now what you need to know is that's what I'm going to call the inverse sine function. So here you'll see it written as sine negative 1, cosine negative 1, tan negative 1. It's a little bit misleading that notation because it could mean two different things. So I'd rather you get used to calling it arc sine. If, if I have cosine of theta equaling something, then theta is going to be the arc cosine or arc cos of the ratio a over h. And of course, if it's tan, then theta is going to equal arc tan of that angle. You will need to still recognize the negative 1 notation because that's what you'll see on your calculator. But we're going to go with arc sine, arc cos and arc tan. And you can see they're already trying to make a distinction here. Oh, careful, it doesn't mean 1 divided by sine x. Let's not confuse our rules. Let's keep our trig trig. Let's have a look at these examples. So find the value of these to the level of accuracy indicated. Well, all you have to do when you're doing this is you're going to go 0 0.3907. Now, I don't have a matching calculator for you, but let's see if I can find something that will do the job. All right, I found the little calculator app here on the computer. Yours will have something similar. Uh, I need trigonometric functions. Here they are. Okay, now I want to know when sine theta equals 0 0.3907. So to get theta on its own, the inverse function for sine, the inverse operation, is to do arc sine. So I'm going to go over here, second function or shift, it'll be something like that on your calculator. Shift, and you'll see it's got that naughty notation, sine to the power of negative 1. Arc sine, that's what I'm after though. Arc sine, 0 0.3907 equals, I'm checking my mode, am I in degrees mode? Yes, I am. Yours will have degrees on it somewhere as well. Uh, I don't know whether that changes it or not. Let's assume that keeps it in degrees mode. And yeah, it's got a little degree symbol there. So that sound, that didn't do arc sine. Let's try that again. Trigonometry, second function, arc sine oh, of 0 0.3907. There it is. 22.998, they've asked me to answer to the nearest degree, so we'll call that 23 degrees. You should be able to get something similar on your calculator. Oh, now my pen wants to misbehave. It's all happening here on Mother's Day. 23 degrees, there it is. 
Here I've got tan of theta equals one half. Let's show the working this time. So that's equivalent to saying theta is equal to the arctan of one half. Theta is approximately equal to to one decimal place this time. Let's get my calculator back. So I'm going to go this one. I've got to clear everything first for this one. So I'm going to go second function on oh no, trigonometry second function arctan of 0.5. Ah, now this calculator does it backwards. Yours, you'll press arctan first and then do it. This one's wanting me to put in 0.5 and then go second function arctan. And there you can see arctan at 0.5 is 26.56. That'll be 26.6 degrees approximately. getting there in the end. I'm sure you can do those other two on your calculator. I'm going to leave you to do those yourselves. Let's get down and look at a couple of examples because this is what you're going to be doing most of the time and what I'd be expecting in an exam. So here I've got finding this angle. What's my first step? Label my triangle. Hypotenuse. Draw a line across the triangle. That must be the opposite. Oh, with opposite and hypotenuse, Sokotoa tells me that's the sine ratio. So I start by writing the sine of theta is equal to the opposite side, 6, divided by the hypotenuse, 10. I could simplify that to 3 fifths, but it won't matter. That's equivalent to saying I want to get theta on its own. How do I do that? I do arc sine. That's the inverse operation for sine of 6 over 10. And magically push buttons on my calculator, which, oh yeah, I did still leave it open. Now remember, for you, you'll probably put in 6 over 10 in brackets, and then go arc sine, maybe it'll work the other way. Oh no, that's how I'm doing it. You're doing it the other way. All right. 6 divided by 10, or 0.6, obviously that's going to tell me. And then I want to go second function, arc sine of that. You'll do arc sine first, and then put in the 0.6, or 6 over 10. And here I've got 36.87. How many to the nearest degree? I'm going to call that 37 degrees. So it's an approximation, so that's approximately equal to 30 seven degrees all right there's one there for you to try label it first choose the right operation write the rule then do the inverse operation the arc tan arc sine or arc cos depending on which one you need have a go now and then check your answer in a second how did you go have a look there so you label the triangle identify the ratio that's cosine ratio adjacent and high hypotenuse. go ahead and figure it out and it's approximately 34 degrees Good luck with that. Make sure you know how to use your calculator. Make sure your calculator is in degrees mode. If you've got a question about that, uh, put it in Teams or ask your teacher or a friend or in the next Zoom chat. Good luck this week. We'll see you next time. Bye for now.